In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the formula text function to show off your formulas. That's right, you'll be able to let people see how brilliant your formulas in your spreadsheet are. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet. It's a list of some NBA basketball players and their statistics. And I've used some formulas to calculate the mean age, the median age, and the mode and the standard deviation of the ages of these NBA basketball players. And as you probably know, when you put a formula in a cell and then tap enter, the cell will show the results of that formula. So 27.38 is the result of the formula that I entered in this cell. What if I want to see the formula itself? I would have to double click on this cell to show that formula, including the function average in this case. I'm going to tap escape on the keyboard to get out of that view. Another way to see the formula is select a cell that has a formula and then look in the formula bar here at the top. That should always show you what's in the formula bar. But what if you don't want people to have to double click to see the formula? You don't want them to have to select a cell and then look up here on the formula bar. What if you just want the formulas to be visible as text so that people can see them? Now this also is a good way for you to be able to verify and double check that your formulas are accurate and working well. So to do this, I'm going to use the formula text function. It's a little known, little used Excel function, but I really like it. So I just clicked on cell E241 and I typed equals. Now I'll type formula text and you can see Excel knows what I'm going for and here it is. It returns a formula as a string. I'll just double click on that to put the function into the cell. And now I have a left parenthesis. If you don't automatically get that, you need to type the left parenthesis. Next, Excel is expecting just a cell reference. So I could type in any cell reference I want, or I could click on a particular cell. I'll just type D241, right parenthesis, tap enter, and look what my formula has done. It is looking at the reference cell, D241. It's seeing that it's a formula, and it's displaying that formula. Now I could do the same thing here in cell E242, E243, and E244. As you probably know, though, I don't have to just reconstruct the formulas. I could just select the formula that I've already created and go to the lower right-hand corner where there's a little green square. That's called the fill handle or the auto fill handle. And I'll just put my mouse pointer right on it, click and hold the click, and then drag down to extend the same idea of the formula all the way down to the bottom of this list of data. So now, anyone that uses this spreadsheet is going to be able to see the actual formula that is in this cell, the formula that is in this cell, etc. Now, what if I were to extend this formula to examine data that is not a formula? So, for example, this is not a formula. It's a simple number, 20.53. If I extend this formula up, I'm getting an error message because Excel is looking for a formula in cell D240 and it's not finding one, so it produces an error. So just be aware of that. So in this video, I've shown you how to use the formula text function to display or show off your formulas in your spreadsheets. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video. And you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my fantastic $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I couldn't keep doing this without your support.